morning, everyone, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku on Monday, July 29th, 2024. I have fives in rows one and three. I can place it in row two, and that's all I get for the top three rows. In the middle, I get all three sevens. That tells me it's going to be a somewhat difficult puzzle, but there are three sixes looking into region four. I can place it. And then follow up to place in column three. In the bottom rows, I've got a nine and a one that I can place. A nine in three spots, a one in actually its place. There are three ones looking into region seven. I put the one on the corners of region four, column one. And now when I look at columns, there are one, two, uh, three nines. Okay. This 9 and this 9 forces it one of those two, but that can't be a 9, so 9 in region 4 is placed, puts it one of those two. That likely says those two and those two in rows 5 and 9 are an X, and this one likely isn't. And I've got an 8, which now must go there, because that's a 9. And this 8 has nothing in rows 5 or 6 to follow up on. In the middle columns, I'll get a 1 in 2 places, a 9 in 2 places, but not the same ones. And on the right, I have 1 each of 1 through 7 inclusive, and therefore can't do anything with it. But let's see. Region 4 in the left third of the grid is going to be where I start. Those two can't be 3, so... A 3 is left in one of two spots. 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need 1, 3, 4, 5 to place for region 4. 1's down to 3 or 5. This one, unfortunately, could be anything, and that's anything but 3. So this wasn't quite as helpful as I thought. Okay, these 1, 2, 3, 4 can't be 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, they are 2, 3, 4, 5 in some order. Oh, I now have a 3, 4, 5 in column 2, all the way to 8, 9, so the 7 is placed. And then I can mark the rest as a triple. Actually, those two sevens could have forced it there. I didn't need the three, four, five to figure that out. But these are one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this sees one, three, four, and five. It must be two. So this one is now one, three, four, five, but it sees one and five, so that's three or four. Let's see, 5, 7, 8, 9, 1. So these are 2, 3, 4, 6. Well, neither of them can be 2. So this 3, 4, 6 to fill out region 1, unfortunately, doesn't do me much good. 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. Those are 1, 6, 7, 8 in some order, but that cell sees everything but 8. And therefore, the other two, and this one, form a triple, goes in that configuration. Uh, let's see. These two are rather restricted. They can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 7. Those two are strictly from 6, 8, 9, and that one's not 8. And these two can't be 2, 4, 5. Those two have a lot of options left. 6 and 8 I want to delete. 
Let's see, these one, column six now has five digits. I need two, three, four, and five. Well, this one sees two and three. Yes, it does. It sees three in the box. And unfortunately, that could be all of them. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So those two are one, two, four, five. Well, this sees four and five. That sees a one. So that completes row four with nothing helpful. Okay, those four along with the one filled in for row seven are two, three, four, five, six in some fashion. See, these can't be one, six, seven, nine. Region five. This doesn't help me any. These four can't be three, four, six, seven. Two or nine, that's not two or nine. Oh, this being a two is annoying. That throws everything off. I don't even have a same hidden pair. It just occurred to me I only have one digit in column eight. Uh, one, three, four, seven in column nine with two digits left to fill. Yeah, these can't be two. This unfortunately could be, so I don't even have two limited. Get rid of one other thing in each. Let's see, these four will fill out region two, either of which can be three or eight. Either of those are two or seven. This isn't one or nine. That sees one and five and nine. It sees two of those that it's twice. Okay, this was not helpful at all, was it? These aren't one or nine, those aren't three, and these aren't six, and that's no help. And these four, which are my last things to fill in the grid, None of those are two, four, six by column logic. These two aren't nine by row logic, and that one's not five. And this one isn't five either, and it also sees six. Okay. Well, I've got these offset triples. That's what bothers me. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even have one limited. Rump, rump, rump. Is there anything I can do? I still have candidates. Yeah, this one could be seven. It just that's annoying. Hmm. Well, six, eight. Let's see, eight has to go there. Not that that helps us any. I'm 
on time crunch, I almost have to bifurcate, which I don't like doing because surely I can eliminate something from this. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if I can. The bottom rows have just too many possibilities on them. Start with is try that digit. If it's one, then we'll see what we get out of it. And this is forced to be an eight because this one isn't. This can't be a one, so this one must be. Forces that to be a three. Four or five goes there, which places a two in the row. This is five, that's eight. This is four, that's a three. It's forced, now that's a three. That takes those out from being a three, this out from being eight. These out from being a three. These out from being a four, these out from being a three, and two. And those can't be eight. And this can't be two. This is a four. Those aren't four. This is a two. It's forced. Four will place the three, six, four, two, three. This is five, unfortunately. Not much to go on, let's see, that's nine. This is six. Seven, that's a one. That solves a problem. I was gonna end up with a problem either here or here, so this cell can't be one. So, it follows, it must be a 2. Four, five, and row 1 places the 1. Now I've got a different 3, 4, 5 staring at me. Yeah, two down here I should have seen. And I still have no help, do I? One here, again, tells us nothing we don't already know. Uh, but actually... I think I just discovered something. Three, four, five, six. I believe that's a hidden quadruple. He sells in very dark blue. Because one, eight, nine can only go there or there or there. So, crucially, that's not six. 
this isn't six. Three. And this one can't be four, five, six. So what we end up with is this is the only space for a three in region three. And therefore that's not three. That places the five. And now that's a five. This isn't. One eight in row six places the nine. Gives me a one eight in the column. Eight. Well, when I said a nine had to be these two and these two, I'm glad I didn't go through it because I hadn't proven that. See, that's not five and that's not five. Five and row five places the three, places the two, which places the eight. That's a three. So I've got yet another four five staring at me. This time in column five, two in column six places four five places six. Now that's a six. This is the other half of what's now a three four. The box three will unwind itself, and then box two will unwind itself, I think. Either these are four or six, and this isn't nine. I'm still left with a two seven that I can't place. The one in column six takes out the one eight in region six. Okay, none of these are six, and none of these are eight. Two, six, eight, nine. Let's see, that's a three. These aren't six. These aren't two. It's not two, so this is four, six, three. Let's see, this can't be four. It's not four either. The four in, what is this, column four, will place five, four. That should unwind just about all my four fives. I think. Three, that's seven, this is eight. Two, five, four, seven. Two and seven. And 18 minutes, this was ugly. And I did not need to bifurcate on this digit. And it took a while to see that hidden quadruple in row two. And if I hadn't seen that, I'd have been stuck.